stem cells helped my dad a lot because he's been more energetic and he's been able to do a lot more things with me now. In my business, if your imagination isn't relevant, if you go stale, you are done. I work extremely long hours, up to 19 hours a day. With the stem cells, I get a feeling where I am alive again. I'm firing on all cylinders. All right, let Daddy do work so we can get you to tennis later. Okay. On an average day, I have 300 crew members, and you cannot lose focus when you're on set directing an episode, because time is money. So over the course of the day, we shoot eight pages. We're also dealing with an episode that we are prepping, scouting a one episode. We're shooting one at the same time. While we're prepping, we also have an episode that is posting that we just shot. look at a couple of cuts during the day. We'll look at dailies, what's shot the day before. Within one day, you're reaching out to a whole lot of crew members, trying to keep everything on track. And then when I'm directing, I'm trying to direct that episode and still do all of those jobs. Bodies hit the ground. Yeah. You're our impact shot. Okay. Yeah. Please, let me see your hands! Got her? Yeah. <laughs> That's for shooting at her. <laughs> Stem cells have given me a way to be aware of everything that's going on at one time. I'm able to retain a lot more. It's nutrition for my imagination. Good gates, that's a wrap. <laughs> Stem cells has been the biggest benefit of anything that I have ever done. I had some real health scares. I don't have a spleen, I don't have a gallbladder from a motocross accident. After I completed each episode, I would start to get really sick. So there was three, four days that I was really out of it. Strep throat, extreme cold, extreme headaches. Uh, I was just trying to survive. And at one point when I was shooting a show called uh, Nikita in Toronto, I had to call the production office and say I, I couldn't move. I could not actually get myself out of the bed. So they called in a doctor, they took some blood tests, and um, I wasn't producing any cholesterol at all, zero. My white blood cell count was over 19,500. They wanted to stick me in the hospital, and I, I said, if you stick me in the hospital, I'm done, I'm not bondable. I will not be able to work if this gets back to the studio. So they put me on some medication. I got to the point where I could go ahead and, and work, but it was a real, real struggle. I got a little cut on my hip, and overnight I, was, uh, I got to the point where I could not walk. So I was taken to the hospital, and I was hours away from, from actually dying. I had staph infection. So again, I stayed into uh, ICU for two and a half weeks. Finally, my grandparents told me, well, why don't you come down to stem cells with us? You know, I said, I'll, I'll do anything I can. I had a movie coming up and I was very worried that my tests were gonna come back and they were gonna say, this guy's not healthy and I was not gonna be able to do it because of my health. So I got the stem cells. Three weeks later, I went to a doctor, they drew my blood. Two weeks after that, they called me for the results and called me in. I thought for sure I was done. The doctor said, I want to know what you're doing. You're, you're, you are one of the most healthy individuals I have ever tested. He said, your blood, your, your white blood cell count, everything was perfect. Now, I can't just be timing. It can't be anything other than the, than the stem cells. My diet hasn't changed. My supplements haven't changed. The only thing different is the stem cells. It's cheating. It is completely cheating. Proof to me is my athletic progress as I get older. I'm getting better than I ha ever have been at tennis, and there's no real reason for it. I don't play any more. I don't play any less. The level of tennis I'm playing is I'm going up another level, and the only thing that's different is the stem cells. I'm able to process 
calculate a lot quicker. And I think that's it. Whether I'm riding motorcycles, whether I'm skiing, I'm getting better and I shouldn't be. I've had stem cells five times in the last three years. Every time I get them, I feel if I have an injury, I feel the injury start to ache. I broke a wrist riding motocross and every time I go back, it hurts after I get the stem cells, but it hurts a little less every time. And you notice where it's going. You notice the pain, where it's repairing. It's truly bizarre. Today you guys got to witness my grandfather at 99 in an all-terrain vehicle with my grandmother, my mother. He is absolutely incredible. They're 99 years old. The stem cells has, have helped my great-grandma, my great-grandpa, my dad, and my grandma. All of them have had it. I don't talk much about it. I feel like it was done yesterday and I'm getting better today. Something had to happen because you're not supposed to be doing what I'm doing when you have a number on you. I'm 99 and I like to think I'm going to be 110 someday. There's no reason why not. He is an iconic visionary here in California. He's taken nothing, he's had nothing, and built a whole entire community. It's all due in part to his mindset in life, and that is be as healthy as you can be, to look forward to the future, and if you look forward to the future, you will bring everybody with you. That's why he was able to find out about stem cells. He's always a forward thinker, and today, that's why we had the four generations of us. Without those stem cells, there's no way we would have that opportunity uh, to be all to all of us to be together. I'm very grateful for my great grandpa. Um, I play tennis, and he coaches me a lot. And on the Rhino, when I drive, I follow his tracks, just like I do in life. And if there were no tracks to follow then it would just be an open road and you wouldn't know which way to go. But since I have him, there's um, a guide to what to do. And what's so unique is to see my daughter and he out on the tennis court and at 99 years old, be very, very aware of everything that's going on with her and find a way to connect with her in a way that I couldn't because I don't have the wisdom he has. My grandmother, she's had six kids, she has 23 grandkids, and I don't know how many great grandkids. Stem cells are a must for energy, for your state of mind. Because he's been healthy, because he's a forward thinker, because of the stem cells, he's with us not only at 99, he is completely aware of everything that goes on all the time. When Dave McCoy isn't busy being a supportive great-grandfather, he spends his extra time and energy re-engineering cars and all-terrain vehicles to run exclusively on electricity. Well, we're all interested in saving gasoline, huh? And I'm ready to use solar system. He's a unique individual in a sense where he only cares about other people's well-being. Oh gosh, it used to be so easy when they called it the depression because everybody helped one another and we all got by and it did come along and get to be better. Now, I don't know, we're told and you can't do this and you can't do that and you shouldn't be doing this. Why not tell people what they can do or be proud of what they do do? They should make people feel good about these things. If they're competition, we got a competition every day to survive. So why should we have people tell us we can't have competition? We should have it. How would the community be if you wasn't helping them? So let's get together and help each other.